Greetings everyone, I am Lord Malvern, and welcome back to my Stellaris live stream on Twitch. Okay, so we are sort of expanding our borders using uh, frontier outposts. We are exploiting resources. We are exploring systems. We are exploiting population. We are getting ready to exterminate the S. Jagon Directorate. <clears throat> they are agrarian, sedentary, and quick learners. Hmm. Let's see how we think about that. Alright, so that in mind, let's uh let's keep things going here. Puppet the S Jagon. Oh Research complete. I mean I could vassalize them, that would be basically the same thing. But uh they're only one system. It's just gonna be better to conquer them. Doctrine Space Combat. Excellent. More ships, more fun. Okay, so... This is not useful. Not yet, anyway. These are modules for our spaceport. I think, uh, I think we want to do... Oh, let's see here. Tropical World and Ocean World are both, like... Adjacent to our, um, to, uh, to, uh, continental world. So, we could, let's see, are, are there any of these guys tropical preference or ocean preference? That looks like a continental world to me. Oh, uh, we should just look at the species. Okay, so continental, continental tundra, continental desert, arid, arid, arctic. Somebody's built robots. Okay, can you start building defense armies? You need bannermen. Yeah. Building defensive armies would not be a bad idea, but, uh... I do also want to build ships as well. Let's go on the surface here and, uh... Oh, jeez. Uh... We should look here and see... What resources we need, we haven't exploited yet, that we should be exploiting. Like, say this. That's a good one to... Take into consideration. Token parents, thank you very much for following. Okay, so we have maxed out resources on a defensive army of soul. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Sorry you're getting the hiccups. Okay. Yeah, Sager, I do agree the there are so many interesting species. I I I think they're they could add more and I like that idea, like thinking about the you know, just how how many what what kind of possibilities there are for them to add more. Uh We can take this and populate our um these would be great for our defensive platforms, actually. To research the... Oh, God, that, that is... That is way too much, though. Way too long. Maybe we will take this. Our... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see here. Do we have... Okay. Tropical Ocean. Tropical. Desert. Arctic Arctic. Continental. 
I'm just looking at all the inhabitable systems around here. Okay, so I think tropical of of all the others is is the one that uh, we're going to go for. It's paradox. You'll know they'll add tons. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be tons of DLC here. I yeah. I I have no doubt about that. And look, we have two tropical worlds in here too. All right. So yeah, now we need generals. No, yeah, no, that's true. We do need generals now. Yeah, right. So let's go ahead and pick a good one. Charismatic Ping Ping Mao seems like a good one. System survey complete. All right, so we are going to assign Ping Mao. So no science lab and space station on, at Earth, unfortunately. Uh, there isn't any uh, research that we can we can do to um, to help with that. We could. Uh, Technically, our space book port is the ISS of Death. It has projectile defenses, and we are building defense platform. We are going to learn how to make defensive platforms. Kind of a waste having a defensive general should have gone more governors or scientists. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's true. I was just appeasing somebody. Just appeasing Jack. Uh, all right. Recruitment of armies has completed on been completed on Earth. The thing is, is though, is that we can also just take take the general off world once we once we actually complete. need to go off and do something. Capital wealth. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh no! Our admiral died. Well, that's not good. She lived a valiant life. Okay, so we got Kumar Gupta, who's a trickster. We've got uh, Valery Tiagdovsky, who is uh, adaptable. And Oh, we do have another Gale Speed person. Good. Lee Khan. Congratulations. Okay, so, yeah, that's going to give us... A lot of evasion, a lot of speed. Gupta the trickster. Yeah, I, I yeah that. I do love the Gale speed, though. We'll have plenty of time to hire tricksters later, especially with the with a Corvette heavy. Uh, Navy. It seems prudent to do so. Okay, so, speaking of which, we do really need to uh, build up some squid killers. As well as some destroyers. We do need some destroyers. Let's actually design a destroyer. Okay, so we got... We definitely need to design a destroyer. Okay, so... This looks like it, it would be... An anti-corvette... Model. That seems like a good idea. Autocomplete. Okay, so... We don't have... We do have armor. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's do this. We do know that, um... That, uh... One of these guys... I believe it was the Commonwealth of Uthon... 
also had mass drivers and uh, and shields. So mass drivers are more tend to be more effective against uh, shields. So it would be good uh, good idea to have some armor as a backup. You can change the size of the hull so you can accommodate larger weapons. Yes, I I, I do know that. Um, and I, oh yes, I definitely have too much power. That is for sure, that is a given, yep. Now I have too little. Okay. Let's, uh... No, I don't have enough. It's a very delicate balancing act here. Okay, so... We are going to... You can remove a generator and add more armor. Armor for days, yes. Yeah, that is true. I could do that. No, not that one. That's not a good one to remove, apparently. No, I guess, um... I guess we're gonna have to keep it at plus five. Unless, uh... Unless we just choose a... Yeah, okay, that works. And, um... Should we keep it as Nymph, nymph or, uh... Let's see here. So this would be... Anti... This would be an anti-Corvette destroyer. Could just name it anti-Corvette, but... You know, where's the fun in that? I am going to... Call it maybe uh, fly swatter. Okay, that seems good. Let's also make another one that's uh, maybe more effective against uh, against bigger ships. Could take a faith breaker. Uh, let's see here. Of course, take the best weapons. Auto complete and work our way back. They did actually give us a pretty, um, pretty good, uh, good layout here. We do want, um, yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, it, it looks okay. Okay, so counter, so this is to counter larger ships, and we'll call this the elephant gun. Okay. That seems like a good good place to be. And, uh... They're equivalent and unfriendly. Of course they are. Uh... And we are going to... We are already building. Missiles are nice because they ignore shields. I didn't realize they ignore... Oops. Sorry, hit my microphone there. I didn't realize they ignore shields, actually. Um... But they, they do, um... They do, uh... They do take a while to fire. That's, that's what I remember, and they can be easily countered. Edicts. I, I have not researched any new edicts in a while. I, I don't want to focus on any any, res any different research branches at the moment. 
Oh, there we go. We have a, um... We have that to build. We are not... God. Let me get in range, please. Put me in range of the of the planet that I want to infiltrate. They can be easily countered, but players usually forget to put point defense. Why enact information quarantine? It's slowing down research. It keeps um. It keeps ethic ethics divergence from happening. So. Uh, as it's, it doesn't really keep it from happening, but it, it, it keeps it keeps us in it keeps my populace in line in terms of towing the party line, or in this case the emperor's agenda. It does slow down research by a little bit, but we did take a tech to offset that. So in reality, it is not being. Um, yeah, ethics divergence is important. Lack thereof. Yeah, yeah. We we do not want to stray from the course. That is for sure. Uh, because that that's what leads to rebellions, and rebellions are not very nice, and it also leads to uh, complete government changes as well. Thin men. Yeah, yeah. We we really should infiltrate, uh, send some thin men to the machine age place. We, we still have some, we have some influence. We, we're only gaining plus one now, though. We might, uh, we might want to hold off on building more frontier outposts. We do want to continue to have a net gain of, uh, of, um, of influence. Keep, I should, I should not pause it so often. Just so that we can keep building, uh, building up resources. Where is research complete? Why aren't you surveying that? Go survey that. Go survey these. Yep, and lightning it won't be too hard, and they'll become your vassal. Yep, that that is true. Engineering research. Okay, so... Do we want defense station or better guns? Hmm. That is a quandary. I think... Let's see here. So, this is 2.43... Uh, versus... Coil gun, which is... 2.12. That is a very minimal difference in the long run. We shall become their gods. But your friend, he means replace their leaders with our people. If we blow up the planet like Alderaan, they won't see us as gods. <laughs> that is true. We don't want to. That's what's. Okay, so. Let's let's get the defense station up and going. We do want to. Uh, what stages do primitive civilizations go through? So, the earliest one, I believe, is the Stone Age. Then it's a uh, Bronze Age, Iron Age, Medieval Age, like a post-medieval age. Oh, there is a pre-Stone Age too. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Sigur. Yep, there are. There is also um, Machine Age is uh, Jack Notch. Uh, Machine Age is a is basically the late industrial period. Think uh, think World War Two. That that's that's a good uh, good approximation of it. So they're at like World War Two level tech. They might not have transistors or whatever yet. Okay, so how are we doing on the surface here? We we need to. You know what? We need a governor. I'm not going to bother with this minutia right now. I 
Uh, let's see here. The governor is not actually going to help us too much, but um, with with that that sort of aspect, but it will give us bonuses, such as the agrarian bonus here, as well as happiness, construction time, clear blocker time, yeah. These are all things that are nice. If I wanted to automate it, I would put it in a sector. Let's reveal our presence when they re reach the machine age. <laughs> well, um... That's interesting. We, we, um... I'm just going to say that, because we, we do... We do have some options for infiltration that we'll get to as soon as, um... As soon as we actually... Get there. Okay, so... How are we doing on food? We got surplus food. Build a mining station, then. That's fine. As long as we have plenty of food on Flaxington, no problem. <laughs> yes. Aggressive observation. Alright, so... How are we doing? In terms of building... Uh, a few more days of Corvettes. Construction complete. And then uh, these guys take up two. And, oh, uh, jeez. Two spots. So we can build a couple. We don't want to build too many. They take up a lot of resources as well. So we gotta wait a month build a fly swatter. I thought we already... Oh. Oh. Whoops. We need to wait on that, then. <sighs> Alright. Equivalent. Equivalent, equivalent, equivalent. Alright. Why not enslave? I was thinking about the mean or bar buddies. You know, we are going to enslave some of these, these primitives. That, that is going to be a given. We just need to find ones that would be, be nice and hardy. Like, um... I keep thinking that, that these guys are going to be a pushover for us, but they aren't. They're, they're cordial, at least, but, um... No, okay, why don't we... Why don't we do some trading with them, at least? You want maybe, uh, give us some minerals, buddy? No, they aren't that interested. They aren't interested in credits. You want maybe a non-aggression pact? Oh, definitely not. Alright. What about you, Istran State? You want maybe some energy credits? Okay, that's an issue. I do not want an aggression pact. They're not interested in my energy credits. Oh yeah, that is true. One of the primitive civilizations is, uh, is, is intelligent, so that would be... They would be good researchers. Ugh, alright. Let's let time go by just a little bit more. System survey complete. Okay. I do feel like I need to, uh... I, I need, um, need more minerals. Always more minerals. Construction complete. Yeah, quickly. Yeah, we should we should get around to doing that. You are correct, of course. 
In fact, let's 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 just go build one. I know I said I didn't want to, to build too many more of these frontier places, but we can always uh, get rid of one of these once we've colonized some worlds here. Like this tropical world, for example. All right, so where are we do? What are we doing? Oh, those are gas grazers. System survey complete. Uh, let's see here. These guys. That's a very weak system. Only two research. But there is a tropical world there, so we could potentially... Yeah, we are going to do that. Uh, we're gonna, we are on our way to building a uh, observation outpost around, uh, around the machine age civilization. I do like that they're arctic. That would be a very nice trait uh, for us to exploit. Because there are arctic worlds around here that I am sure... Uh, like in, uh, in our friends, in our, our good buddies that we're about to conquer, in their little bubble, they have, uh, they have some good stuff. Talk to the Machine Age Civilization and befriend them. If he enlightens them, it'll be ten years before he can integrate them as vassals. That, that is true. It, it does take a little bit of time. Uh, once, once they have been... become our vassal, we do have to wait... Uh, yep, yeah, ten years before... Uh, before we can actually do anything with them. Before we can actually... Assimilate them. Okay, so we got our mining outpost done. That's good. We need more mine. More mine. I'm just gonna let uh, let's see here we are going to system survey complete okay so this is gonna be done in a little while here system it's survey like, complete uh, please give us more uh, more anomalies to scan man. Remember Independence Day? I think we're better off using diplomacy with them instead of committing suicide. Dude, uh... I hate to break it to you, we are not, uh... We are not the aliens from Independence Day. We are, uh... We are smart. We are smarter than them. I would hope, at least. Maybe not as cocky as them. Okay. Our, okay, so we need to... I think we have enough now to actually build up... Uh, no, we don't have enough yet to build the upgrade. Now we have enough. System survey complete. Yeah, I mean, if we if we really if we really don't like a race, you know, if it if it just doesn't seem like we can do anything with it, or 
genetically alter it in any way. Stop, please. Um, we could we could purge the we could purge the planet of them. If we really wanted to, that 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 would be the closest thing to an Independence Day type scenario. It would just be enacting a system purge. Okay. Let's build our observation outpost there. And the mighty sniper needs to go survey stuff. Survey that one first, please. And then come back and survey that one. Okay. So I think with that, um, that's going to end uh, end this session for the YouTube vi uh, viewers. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and um, I will see you uh, in the next video. Take care.